What's up, C-O-L? It's your man, C. Mill, C from the D, coming at you with everything that's real. How you doing today? How you doing? It is a damper and rainy day here in the city of Detroit. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to keep on thugging our way through. You know what I'm saying? Bright and sunny days are on the way for sure. You know what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus Christ. So, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy it now because it's going to be hot pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? And these gas prices, my goodness, what are they trying to do to us, man? But uh, hopefully they'll go down soon, you know what I'm saying? Uh, today, uh, I want to give a shout out to all the shooting victims, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's pray for them and their families, man. I don't know what's going on, but Satan is definitely busy. You cannot deny that. Anybody can deny that. It is really, uh, he's really doing a job on a lot of people right now so you must stay and try to watch your actions your movements your words you know be not trying to backstab people and do malicious stuff steal lie and cheat and all this stuff this ain't the time this is a real spiritual time right now i'm telling you this ain't the time man because it's it's too much going on it's too much going on man you know what i'm saying so you want to watch the steps out here, man. Like I said, every move is a calculated step. You know what I'm saying? In the name of getting you blessings or getting you in a negative uh, negative state. You know what I'm saying? To where you can't receive blessings and God takes his hand from of protection from around you and causes you, you know, to be able for the devil, the devil to reach you, you know? So you want to watch it. Um, but today... I want to talk to you about code switching. The narcissist does code switching on a constant basis. Um, code switching is being someone else in front of different people to get different results. You know what I'm saying? Changing certain body languages and using different vernacular in, in different times in front of different people so that you can sell certain images to different family members friends or people at the job it's really a transformation from who you really are to someone that the narc either wishes to be wants to be like or an admiration of someone strong and powerful that they admire they want to fit in but the problem with code switching is there is no room for creativity because the narc is mocking someone in life or off of a television show or a movie or a song but the narc will get results but someone will get hurt and it could be the other person it could be the narcissist but somebody's going to get hurt because the moves are not authentic the narcissist will get results but someone will get hurt because it's not an authentic move or response in the universe and if it's not real and from the heart in a positive dialect it cannot be accepted by the universe, the Tao, or God, or Jesus Christ, or even by Satan, because it is not real and it is not positive. You come from a positive source. Um, and you cannot, and you can't be result oriented. You have to be people oriented. What will it take to make this make this experience a pleasant experience for you? That's what people don't think about. They just think about, oh, they hurt my feelings. Maybe the person didn't see you. Maybe the person didn't do it in that mindset. Maybe the person wasn't trying to hurt you at all and it's all in your head. You know what I'm saying? So you have to take an account for that. You know what I'm saying? You can't just act like people are out to get you because that's not always the case. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you could be tripping. A lot of times you could be tripping. Because if you look up uh, this one young lady I've been watching. Well, she's not a young lady. She's kind of mid-age uh, doctor. I can't think of her name. But she talks about different foods and nutrients that if you're lacking, you're going to feel a certain way about things. Because different nutritional attributes have a lot to do with how you feel on the inside. Okay. So, what can we do to make this a pleasant experience for you? Now, I make you feel terrible, turn everyone against you, and ruin your life. You can't lose your authenticity in the pursuit for money 
power and narcissistic respect or trying to please somebody or be a people pleaser. You must allow yourself to bring your unique identity, creativity, and innovation everywhere that you go. Remember the three R's. The three R's are respect yourself and others. That are no, that's number one. Number two, reach out to people whether you are right or wrong and offer to help, apologize, and rebuild relationships. That is number two. Number three, reciprocate. If someone is being nice, loving, kind, having your back, helping you out, return that good energy to them. That is called reciprocation. That is number three. But if the energy is bad, mirror that too. Because if they get nasty with you, you have to get nasty with them to let them know, hey, buddy, you can't cross that line. You know what I'm saying? That line is not to be crossed. You're doing way too much. You know what I'm saying? But you have to let these people know because they are hard-headed. They are inconceivable about what border lines are. The narcissists, they like to trample over borders and knock down, you know, they don't understand boundaries. Or at least they try to act like they don't, but they do. But you got to let them know where you stand. But uh, let me see. And the reason that I'm stressing that because we are talking about narcissists. Uh, but in order for the narc to do code switching, they can't think about it because nine times out of ten, what they are doing, the person they are doing it to is someone they are really close to, like, love, admire. And the demon that is possessing them won't allow them to think about the acts that they are doing bad that's bad because the narc would either be super ashamed and snap out of it completely so the narc is not privy to controlling their own self they gave up something for the demon to be able to like suppress that in them you know what I'm saying uh, so the narc is in a kind of a trans state when they do stuff like that, when they get to this mode. They're kind of in a trans state. Um, sometimes because they have sacrificed something to allow the demon to take over. So, you know what I'm saying? What they sacrifice to let, allow the demon to take over their mindset, we'll find out. Um, tune in for the decks and we'll cover that. Um, but there is only one trinity that can make you whole again, and that is God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Tune in next time to learn about what the narc has sacrificed, only to lose him or herself in the demonic spirits. Two, demonic spirit that teaches one to go against everyone until they have, till they are dying alone, and they want to pass that curse onto you they want to get you in that system that system of being negative that system of being just uh downright dirty and mean and nasty to people they want the narcissist wants to get that spirit on you because the spirit you ever watch the movie it follows is it is it, it's, it's acting just like that it operates just like that not that you have to have sex with them the spirit can still pass on to you but it, mostly in relationships you have a sex anyway so it's going to be a spiritual pr fingerprint you know what I'm saying? So you're exchanging energies when you have sex with people. That's why you got to watch it. You can't just be having sex with everybody, man. That's that's dead, you know? You have to care about yourself. That's why I say the three R's, respect. You have to respect yourself, man. You can't go around sharing your energy with everybody. When you was young, and yeah, when I was young, yeah, I didn't know no better. But I'm telling you, I'm sharing this with you. That ain't the thing to do. Uh, because then you whore yourself out as a woman and a man too. But women, you get really a, a, a deeper backlash sleeping with three or four dudes on one crew out of one circle. Are you crazy? Can't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't get no respect in the spiritual world. Definitely you don't get it in the physical world. You already know that. The dude's going to bash you and shame you out cold. You know that. And they want to pass the curse on to you. By putting you in a certain system, the devil gets you to do the work for him. Because once that mindset gets on you, the devil can sit back. You're not a challenge for him no more. You already know he got you. Because uh, once he has you in the system, you can't get to a higher plateau because you're already brainwashed. You're already brainwashed to the point where 
you are already you're going to sabotage your own life you're going to do things against yourself unknowingly to yourself uh it's real deep we're gonna get deeper into the next one i want to give a shout out to nicole Cavani or nicole k-e-a-v-e-n-e-y thank you for subscribing y'all hit that like and subscribe button this stuff gets deep y'all we're gonna cover it I appreciate all of y'all. Tune in for the next one. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next one.